everybody, it's Val. Hey everybody, it's Michelle. Welcome to the Wind Down. And the Wind Down TV. Come on, oh, y'all. Yeah. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wind Down TV. To our new and returning subscribers, cheers to you. Newbies, hit that subscribe and notification button for all our future episodes. So tell me, have you ever bought a bottle of wine? You're licking your chops with anticipation. You're gonna get home, get your nice glass, you're gonna pop the cork off and just indulge in this wonderful wine. But you get home, you pop the cork off and it smells like a dead possum. Okay, that might be a little bit too harsh. Maybe it smells like a wet mop or a damp basement. In any case, you're saying to yourself, oh, maybe this is just a characteristic of the wine, right? Wrong. Yes, wine does have its particular aromas, but it's not supposed to smell like fresh mildew perfume. So here are four ways to tell if your wine ain't fine. Here we go. The first and most common is corked wine. Corked wine happens when the cork is removed from the bottle and it smells like P.U. Damn, basement or just plain musty. It's easily identifiable and can rob the wine of its aromas and taste while robbing you of the experience. By the way, this happens with wines with a natural cork, so synthetic or screw caps won't have this issue. Next up, oxidization. Oxidization happens when a wine has been opened for too long, or in some cases, hasn't even been opened yet, but the oxygen transmission through the cork is too high. For white wines, they'll start to appear darker in color, and for reds, they'll start to look browner and may even taste like vinegar. If you find these videos informative and want us to make more, comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Number three, reductive wine. Reductive wines happen when the wine hasn't had enough oxygen exposure and will therefore have an intense smell of sulfur that is usually found in screw cap wines more than corked. However, an easy solution would be just to decant the wine and it may fix itself in the process. Last on our list is fermenting wine. And this actually happened to me the other day. I bought a bottle of wine I was so eager to try, popped it open, and on the first taste, I was like, wait a minute, why is this, why do I get an effervescent, almost bubbly taste on my tongue? This is not supposed to happen with this particular kind of wine. So I researched it, hoping to find something about maybe this is part of the characteristic of the wine. Couldn't find anything. So fermenting wine happens when the wine starts to re-ferment in the bottle and it's not supposed to. And that's usually due to improper storage of the bottle to begin with. The good news is if you ever come across a wine that's, that's corked or faulty, the wine store will usually replace it for you or give you another one or refund you. They're pretty cool about doing that. And don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for all our future episodes. And also check out our other episodes where my girl Val and I chat about the vino. Cheers, everyone. Till we drink together again.